Shalom. I'm Rabbi Howard Wolk. I'm the community chaplain with Jewish Family Service of Dallas, and I'm honored that the Faith Presbyterian Hospice has asked me to uh, share a, a message with you today. I certainly hope that uh, this finds all of you well uh, under the very difficult circumstances that we continue to live uh, under uh, together. And perhaps I would underline the word uh, together that this is a uh, shared experience. Uh, the rabbis in the Talmud, uh, the corpus of Jewish thought, tell us that when there's a shared experience uh, by many people, that in of itself uh, provides some comfort and consolation. And hopefully that's the situation here, knowing that we're all going through this difficulty uh, together. Uh, also, I think, emphasizes uh, the very opening uh, concept in the Torah, in the five books of Moses, uh, in Genesis, that after God creates an entire world filled with uh, animals and vegetation and rivers and mountains, uh, the most important creations, uh, human beings, God creates one man and one woman and says to Adam and Eve, you get the world started. And one of the lessons is the profound value and sanctity uh, of each human life. And certainly as uh, people unfortunately succumbing to the coronavirus, uh, it should give us pause as to the sanctity and importance uh, of life. Uh, I understand the way it's uh, reported to us almost has to be the numbers are down, the numbers are up. When we're talking about the deaths of individuals, uh, people, human beings, should never be reduced to being numbers or statistics. Uh, they are individuals, uh, they are individual worlds to their uh, family members and friends and, and loved ones. So this is, as we know, a very unique experience these past uh, few months. Uh, our task as uh, chaplains, social workers, nurses, physicians, is to uh, try to provide different types of comfort uh, to individuals and uh, people are seeking all different kinds of help, uh, people who feel shuttered in, people who have limited contact, uh, whether physical or verbal with other people, uh, feel that they're going through very difficult situation and in fact they are. So our task is really to sustain that human spirit to try to alleviate as much as we can uh, the pain that's felt by individuals and to continue to nurture uh, the human spirit. Uh, in the synagogue, uh, each week we read a different section from the five books of Moses. Now we're at the end of the book of Numbers. Uh, we just read this uh, past week about the death of Miriam. Miriam was the sister of Moses and Aaron. And Miriam in the Bible is always associated with water. Uh, we're first introduced to her back in Egypt. Moses, as a baby, is put into a basket by their mother and put into the Nile River. And Miriam is watching from the bushes to see what will happen. The second time Miriam is mentioned is after the Israelites cross the Red Sea. And Miriam leads all the women of the Israelite nation and a song of thanksgiving to God. So Miriam is always associated with water. In fact, her Hebrew name, Miriam, three of the letters spell the Hebrew word water. And the rabbis tell us that during the 40 years in the desert, there was a well, a well of water that accompanied the people. That was the source of water to the people, their families, and their flocks. And that well was called the Well of Miriam. It was named in her honor. Miriam, who was the sustainer of life, who sometimes may have been in the background, but was critical for the continuity of Moses as a baby and the Jewish people. She was one who helped sustain life, even as water on a physical level is the sustainer of human life, vegetation, animal life, Miriam provided that kind of nurturing. And that's the kind of nurturing 
in a physical way and the spiritual way uh, that we all do. Uh, our hope and prayer should be that our nurturing, our sustaining should be successful, that we should help to alleviate uh, the pains of all kinds that afflict our fellow human beings, and that God willing, we will emerge ultimately from the coronavirus and be invigorated by the lessons of humanity that we are all sharing together. Thank you for your attention and shalom.